What do you, what do you think happened? I have a father that is missing since 1988 on Father's Day. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people go missing. People like Natalie's father. The police told us uh, the only thing we can do is uh, report him missing. I was so upset. There aren't enough resources for the police to find everyone. So people like Natalie are left to search for their missing people on their own. But now a group called Trace Labs brings together hackers from around the world to use their skills to find real missing people. They've turned it into a game where participants find clues in exchange for points. And it's working to help find them. One night, my best friend called me and said, Hey, Nally, did you hear about uh, Trace Lab? They look for a missing person. It's hackers. I said, what? So I wrote an email to uh, Robert Sells. I said, uh, can you help me? And he said, yes. I think because I'm in search and rescue, I get to see things that most people don't. I get to see all the people that go missing, and as I was paying attention to that, I noticed that there's a lot of people that go missing that, that we never look for. I always wondered, who's looking for those people if I'm not? And sometimes, sometimes nobody. The person behind Trace Labs is Rob Sell. He's a tracker for search and rescue and a computer security professional. Trace Labs became really a blending of those two passions. As a tracker, Rob looks for little clues and details that paint a bigger picture about a person's direction of travel, their speed, or state of mind. Trace Labs takes the same approach to online searching. Finding little details about a person's online activity can add up and help lead investigators to their current location. We're addressing all those people that go missing that nobody's looking for right now. Rob started Trace Labs as a way to educate people and get them involved in the process of open source intelligence gathering, or OSINT. When you go to a typical conference, uh, security conference, there's so many different things you can do. You can learn how to hack a car, how to hack a voting machine. Whatever you want to do is there. Yet, that effort is wasted in a way because it's not used for anything else. What we do is we take all that effort and we put it into something that's actually going to benefit society. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Not bad. Chris. Rob Sell. Nice to meet you, Chris. Rob organizes events like this Capture the Flag game, where participants use OSINT techniques to collect data that could be used to help find missing.